I watched the sci-fi show Farscape for the first time this year. Tonally, Farscape runs the gamut. It's exciting, funny, unsettling, profound. The show's emotional story is driven by Ben Browder's character, John Crichton. The consistent theme of Farscape is loss, and Crichton is at the center of it. A wormhole strands the astronaut on the other side of the galaxy from Earth, with no hope of returning home. He quickly makes enemies and finds himself among other fugitives running from the dominant military force there. One episode finds Crichton completely alone, save the living ship he's on, and her pilot. It's been months, and he hasn't shaved. He spends his days working impossible math, talking to himself, and serenading a utility robot he's claimed as his own. And if that episode didn't solidify his relatability, I don't know what would. As someone who started talking to himself, like, three days into remote work this year, I felt that. I mentioned the overarching theme of Farscape was loss. By the time the title sequence first plays, John Crichton has lost everything he's ever known. Farscape tells the story of him coming to terms with that tremendous loss while making a new life for himself. An article I read back in March of this year from Harvard Business Review pretty well summed up what I was feeling at the time. Simply, grief. Like most everyone, within a couple weeks I'd lost the entirety of my social interaction. I saw no one besides my family and the media team at my church as I helped with our live stream. In that article, David Kessler succinctly states, This is hitting us, and we're grieving. Collectively. We're not used to this kind of collective grief in the air. He expands further on what he describes as anticipatory grief. Anticipatory grief is that feeling we get about what the future holds when we're uncertain. Usually it centers on death. We feel it when someone gets a dire diagnosis, or when we have the normal thought we'll lose a parent someday. Anticipatory grief is also more broadly imagined futures. There's a storm coming. There's something bad out there. With a virus, this kind of grief is so confusing for people. I don't think we've collectively lost our sense of general safety like this. Individually or smaller groups, people have felt this. But altogether, this is new. As I reread Kessler talking about stages of grief, I recognized John Crichton's own mantra in his description of acceptance. This is happening. I have to figure out how to proceed. Now Crichton doesn't always arrive at acceptance in a timely fashion, but what's inspiring about him is even though all is already lost at the start of his story, he never gives up. As I reflect on Farscape, it's clear to me that John Crichton's perseverance is a large part of what made the series so inspirational to me this year. Though I will say, him being the cooler Star-Lord definitely didn't hurt either. Mm -hmm.